On March 3rd, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said 16,000 international volunteers are making their way into Ukraine to help the country fight the Russian invasion. Volunteers from Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Poland and Israel were among the first ones to arrive in Ukraine. British media reports about 150 UK volunteers have joined Ukraine's military. And volunteers from Georgia, Croatia, France and other countries are also joining the fight against Russia. Some US and Canadian volunteers said they are disappointed their countries have not sent troops. They have left Ukraine completely alone. Over the past few days, I've been doing my best in order to provide volunteers who are planning to go to Ukraine to fight or perform humanitarian work with as much information and advice as I can possibly give them. Mike Newt is a research scientist at Rice University in Houston, Texas. He decided to help pay for two volunteers to get to Ukraine. Someone said that they were coordinating volunteers and donors and I reached out to them and I felt like donating and just, just not even donating cash, but just buying a plane ticket for these two people that they had put me in touch with uh, was a way to, you know, bring two extra people to the fight. And it was the next best thing to be able to go myself. The volunteers include a 20-year-old paramedic from Rhode Island and a U.S. Army veteran from Tennessee. 33-year-old Canadian cook Bryson Woolz is responding to Zelensky's plea for help. He plans to volunteer even though he has no military experience. Well, really, the only really experience I have is cooking. And, you know, if they need to cook, I'm more than happy to do that. If, if they need to be on the front line, I'll do that. If they just want me to dig trenches or sand, fill the sandbag, you know, I'll do that too. I just want to be able to help in whatever way I can. But there are risks. Last week, the spokesman for Russia's Ministry of Defense warned that foreign fighters would be considered mercenaries and may not be protected under humanitarian guidelines that protect prisoners of war. U.S. officials have also been cautious and continue to urge all U.S. citizens to leave or stay out of Ukraine. Instead, State Department officials are urging Americans to support humanitarian organizations providing aid and relief to the Ukrainian people. And millions of people around the world are supporting the Ukrainian people by donating to foundations and charity organizations like CARE International. CARE is famous for the CARE package. The care packages were delivered by the U.S. In the, after, in the aftermath of World War II. And for example, my grandparents were receivers of care package and also my parents, and they were in some cases life-saving. Barsdorf Hager says that the organization's goal at the moment is to offer emergency assistance to at least 4 million people. Maxim Moskalkov for VOA News, Washington.